What's up, y'all? Um, shout out to Frank White. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Boy, I've been um, looking at your videos and I'm a little worried about you. Um, so I love you, just to let you know. But anyway, um, I, I've been, I, I, there's something that's really popular that, you know, a lot of you have been asking me. And it's like basically you ask me, you know, because one of my most popular videos is my Koji Sans, Koji Acid Soap video. And I know I discuss a lot about the fact that Koji, you know, Koji Acid Soap makes your skin sting. Like you can feel a stinging sensation when you are using most exfoliants, okay? Exfoliants or exfoliation products such as Koji Sans. But you keep asking me, do I need to feel a sting? Like, a, a, a lot of you are like, oh my God, I don't feel a sting. I don't, I'm not feeling a stinging sensation. Hold up. Just because you're not feeling a stinging sensation does not mean that, you know, Kojic, Koji Sand is not working for you. I don't care what, you know, Kojic Acid brand it is. Remember, I prefer three. That is uh, basically Koji Sand, that is Marie France, and that is Shuvi, okay? Uh, which is pure Asian. Uh, Marie France, not so Asian, but Koji San and the Shuvi is, is pure Asian. Uh, Philippines, uh, Middle, e uh, Middle Asia, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but you stop being worried, okay? Do not worry if whether or not Koji San, you know, or any Koji acid soap that you're using... If it's working or not, I mean, don't be worried or, or, um, on if whether or not if it's working for you just because you can't feel that stinging sensation, okay? You're not always going to feel that stinging sensation, especially if you just started using it. Like, it takes a while. Some people, I mean, if you're new to um, skin exfoliation, if you're new to this, you know, with the skin peeling thing, you know, exfoliation is peeling. But in gradual, tiny, tiny, very tedious process, you know, it, it just basically, um, unlike getting your skin really peeled, peeled, you know, having your skin peeled or sloughing off, it just basically uh, peels off in little tiny, tiny uh, amounts, okay? So you, you would definitely know when you uh, wash your face or if you use a spin brush, like you'll, you'll see like little tiny dead skin cells, especially when you get in the tub, you will see like a lot of... Um, that skin and it looked um, a lot of people mistake it for dirt. My sister she used to make fun of me for it but actually in reality she was kind of foolish because what she didn't get was the fact that my it, I was doing a great job because that that you know brown like the all of the dead skin that you've seen like it looks like dirt but that means that you're really taking care of your skin. Okay so um, anyway I'll answer your question again okay. Does it mean that uh, Koji Sand is working for you if you don't feel a burn? No, that doesn't mean that it's not working for you. Your skin may be just a little tough. Uh, you may have, you know, very, very thick skin. Not just saying it as a, you know, um, basically, you know how you, you can say like certain words like the pink elephant in the room. I forgot what it's called. Um, you, know, you know, like you use certain like term, um, term, you know, terminology and stuff like that. I actually literally mean what I just said. So, anyway, for those of you who are subscribed to my page, thank you so much for being subscribed. And um, for those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to give me a couple thumbs up, a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment underneath the comment section below. I tried to upload a video to you uh, guys the other day discussing about how you should avoid you know, I, I won't even say. I'll keep my, you know, my topics as, as a secret for now. Um, so, anyway, I hope you all are doing great. And take care. My skin is looking a lot better just to let you know. I have been using Emu Mu Oil, like, persistently using it. Today is the fifth day that I've used the Emu Oil that I have uh, upgraded to. And I'm going to continue to use it. Like, also, don't forget that I, I had did a dermapin session on my skin because I'm trying to get rid of some acne scars. And my skin feels extremely soft. So I'm using my Amaya My Skin um, Vitamin C with the azelaic acid. I don't know, don't, know, don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know why I didn't go ahead and search, search up on how to pronounce it. But I did read about the um, products. So I'm not using something that I, you know, with something I don't, you know, basically you shouldn't use anything. 
if you don't know what it is, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say? Don't use something if you don't know what it is you're using, you know. Um, and, you know, basically the Kojic acid soap and it's going to, like, it's basically helping my skin. Um, it feels really soft right now. Like, it just feels so soft. And um, as I stated in my video yesterday, I was thinking about uploading. Uh, uploading. I'm going to be using Fear and White's exclusive whitener again to basically, you know, use it as a topical to uh, get my skin to lighten up a lot more faster. Now, one more thing. For those of you who are coming to my page and telling me, you know, oh, your skin is not light, I never said that I wanted to be fair skinned in the first place. But if you go back to my page, you know, a lot of my, you know, loyal people who really like me, you know, they definitely see that my complexion was a lot darker than what it is. And once I get my video editing software back, I will let you see how dark my skin got, you know, once I started um, getting older, you know, um, between the ages of 13 and up, like my, you know, my skin got extremely dark. And once I got into like my, it stood that way until I got like in my, my 20s, that's when I started lightening my skin. I would definitely show you all, you know, how dark my skin was. Um, and I won't be, you know, showing this to prove anything to anyone, you know, like to the trolls, but just to show you all that, you know, skin um, lightening is basically, it is po it is possible, you know, and you, you've seen it with all of us. You've seen it with Frank White. Um, you've seen it with so many of us, um, Best of Africa, Best of Africa. Uh, you've seen it with basically the annoying, the annoyed atheist, you know, my friend, um, AKA Florida Pie. So it is very possible. Um, don't listen to any one of these people who try to bash these products. Also, I heard that Best of Africa, Best of Africa uh, glutathione supplements are popping. Like, they're really good. I, was, I heard someone say that it really does work. So, um, but if you're using Jaws formulas and it works for you, you know, continue to stick with it. Um, remember I told you that glutathione is only going to whiten up your skin as white as the day you were born. Um, but if you want to get lighter, you know, it's not going to make you white. Um, in order to achieve, like, a certain complexion, um, you will have to basically exfoliate your skin and then use a skin whitener. So, anyway, take care.